The question that's on the minds of a lot of people across the state, particularly parents, what's in store for next school year? Well, this week, a task force is meeting in Montgomery to figure out what the start of the school year will look like for students in Alabama. Way 31 Sophia Borelli found out that the Cab County School District plans to have students back in class on August 7th. She explains what the superintendent and parents are hoping for next fall. School buses sit still in an empty parking lot, but these school buses could be going to pick up students come August 7th in DeKalb County. There's nothing that can replace the interaction between a teacher and students. DeKalb County School Superintendent says the plan is for students in the county to be back inside schools in early August. He says what that may look like, well, there's still more planning to be done. We've talked a lot about lunch rooms, about transition times, transition times coming into the classroom or into the school. How will students transition? Will we have teachers transition more than students? I'm ready. One parent I spoke with said she wants her child to go back to school. This uh, is something we're going to have to deal with from here on out, and I think we might as well start school back and just jump right in and take it from there. I think I'm most ready for reading and everything because I like reading books. Barnett told me plans can change depending on what the state recommends and right now they're still working to hammer out some of the specifics like how kids will social distance. But he says they know they'll be ready for whatever comes their way. We want to make sure that we have a plan in place for uh, starting the school year. And for, for some reason, if we have to go to a digital uh, platform for a day or two or weeks or whatever, we want to go ahead and have plans and preparation in place so that we can seamlessly do that next year. Barnett told me he does anticipate more students enrolling in DeKalb Virtual Academy, which gives students the option to take more classes online. In Rainsville, Sophia Borelli, Way 31 News. Barnett also said the district is working to get personal protective equipment for students and staff, and at this point, the district doesn't expect to change class sizes. Here in the